vlog if you're new here hello my name is Aziza I am a full-time working mom I share a lot about my life as a working mom juggling that and also like juggling life as a mid-30s woman in Atlanta but welcome guys to a new vlog I'm so excited to be vlogging again I have been feeling a little bit like I felt like I needed a break because I just came back from a work trip as you know if you watched my last video but I was on a work trip last week and I was gone for four days after coming back from that trip. I was so depleted and I really needed a few days to kind of like restore and like refresh myself. So I took the time off from vlogging. And then on top of that, I'm like dealing with this like crazy spring allergies right now. Like my, my eyes, my nose, everything is just so itchy and I just don't feel good. And then on top of that, my son is also sick and it's spring break right now. By the way, excuse the background, I am in my kitchen as you can see, but I just made myself some coffee and you guys, I actually just got this Keurig dupe um, from Walmart just over the weekend. Today's, today's Tuesday by the way, I forgot to mention that. The reason why I got it is because I have an espresso machine right now and it's the Virtuo machine that I have and I love it. I use it religiously, I've been using it like for years, okay, I used it even before like it started going super popular on tiktok and like instagram and youtube i've had it since 2016 and it's one of my best facebook marketplace purchases i bought it for 50 bucks off of someone and i have been using it ever since and i love it and you know with virtual pods or virtual machine if you have one you can make an espresso drink and you can also make a regular coffee drinks however the coffee drinks are a little bit more like elevated it's a very full bodied it's like a really strong cup of coffee and sometimes you just want regular drip coffee and i honestly just miss having that kind of coffee at home so i got a keurig dupe and this machine was 20 bucks so it was amazing it's 1:20 right now so it's like right around lunchtime but i had a really late breakfast so i'm not super hungry this vlog i forgot to tell you is going to be kind of like a reset vlog you guys because i've it's way overdue i feel like my life has just been kind of like all over the place and i really wanted to take the time to kind of like just reset especially coming back from my work trip and then you know just with the spring flowers coming out and everything i think it's such a perfect time to do kind of like spring reset video my house is an absolute disaster because like i said i was on the work trip and then over the weekend i didn't really feel like cleaning up so it's gonna be a productive few days with me because if you know if you're a mom yourself sometimes when it comes to like being productive and like getting things together it takes more than just one day am i right um at least for me it's that way so we're gonna tackle the next few days to try to be more productive and that includes also taking care of ourselves i really want to work out um i'm really starting to feel like the motivation again because you know it's getting warm outside and at some point in the summertime we have to take our little kids out to the pool so we want to make sure that we look good we feel good right so <laughs> that's in the books but then we're also going to do a lot of things today we're going to work obviously because it is a work day for me i have this project that i'm working on right now so i'm going to continue working and at the same time we're going to run the laundry we're going to try to do the dishes we're going to try to mop the floor like we're going to try to do as much things as possible because we need to reset. It's been a while. It's been a while, so.
I pumped. I was able to get like 15 ounces of milk, which is a lot. Um, so I'm really grateful for that because I didn't pump it all yesterday. So yeah, continue to work. And then I just went upstairs to switch out my clothes from the washer to the dryer and then i put another load of clothes in the washing machine so i have another load going right now and then what i also did was i just kind of put my milk away um and then i realized that my husband had already my husband had already taken out some like fish for our dinner tonight so i was actually going to do that um because by the way it's 3 20 right now so need to start thinking about dinner however I am going to go run to take Coco to her vet appointment. I think she's going to get shots today again. I'm not sure. But she was supposed to go to the vet a couple of, like a week ago. But we had to cancel because there was something that came up with work. So neither of us were able to take her to the vet. So I called them today. They said that they have some time open in the afternoon for that. So I'm going to take Coco to the vet at 4. And the vet is just five minutes away from the house, which is really nice. But yeah, in the meanwhile, I'm going to continue to work on the stuff that I was working on before. And go take her to the vet. And I think I'm going to try to work out tonight too. So after I come back from the vet, I'm going to try to um, do a quick Peloton ride. All right, I'm going to put you guys down and I'll catch you guys in a little bit at the, at the vet. her shots she got another one of paravo and the other one which is to basically it's a shot that helps her um get immunized from any sort of infection that comes from like water bowls so that's what she got and then she also got her like medication from the vet for her heartworm flea tick and all of that so everything went well at the visit which was really nice um, we just have to kind of take a look to see if she has any side effects from like where she was given the shots in her leg um, because the last time she did have a hard time kind of like recovering at least for the first 24 hours and we had to give her basically like a pain reliever so that she could feel more relaxed so um it's like almost five right now i am going to actually start making dinner that's the thing i need to go work out first no no no. i need to work out first i'm just gonna do like a maybe i think i'm just gonna do like a 30 minute ride um i just wanted to do 20 minutes i feel like i want to do 20 minutes but i'm gonna push myself and do 30 minutes oh by the way i got my nails done i love it this is totally out of my comfort zone i usually get I don't really get color like this but this is kind of like a light blue with chrome white chrome on top so i really really love that but um anyways so yeah i want to do like a quick ride on my peloton i am feeling like doing a 20 minute ride but i think i'm gonna end up doing a 30 minute ride okay so let's go ahead and do that because ryan is out to get the girls right now but before before they come home I am going to cook some rice on the stove because, like I said earlier, Ryan took some fish out so I can cook the fish after I'm done working out. But for right now, let's go work out before the kids get home because when they do get home, Lena is going to want to nurse right away. We spot for the brown eyes and the low lights glowing on you. What you want, I'm outside. Spin the block on the downtime. I'll be down for a photo. I'm 
Send him to the gravestone Church say six, I'm a ghost son God, you let a post for the camera I like you better than candy mix. You left the city that gave you the head on your shoulder You got a vantage point Jump on my line when it's PM, I give it the stamina You fell in love with potential before me Somebody that left you the damage, huh? Okay, so that was a really good workout And that made me feel really, really good Even though I was not in the need to work out today When you know how to play my part Say so when I make that mine Hold on, take my time Only know how to play my part. Say so when I make that mind. Hold on, take my time. days later since I last picked up the camera so it's actually Friday it's almost 10 o'clock in the morning as you can see I'm at home because I am working from home today and today is actually the last day of spring break too oh I don't know if I told you guys but like my son has been at home all week this week because it is spring break so I did spend basically all week working from home because we didn't sign him up for any camps or anything like that so Yesterday though, we went to, I did go to the office because I had a customer meeting and I had some cleaners, which I'll tell you about in a little bit. They were here to just kind of like finish up the house and I had this customer meeting and I didn't want it to be disruptive with the vacuum and whatever's going on. So I decided to go to the office to take that meeting, which I'm glad I did because the rest of the team was there. So while I was there, Alden was at my sister's house um, playing with my nephew. So anywho, back to the spring reset, right? So I know the last time I talked to you guys, I said like, oh, we're going to like do all the things. We're going to clean mop vacuum etc you guys what i ended up doing is i have actually been wanting to hire these cleaners for such a long time um, because i know that my house is in dire need of like a good clean so ryan and i we do a pretty good job at like keeping up like just surface level stuff like bathrooms you know vacuuming mopping we do all of that stuff and then sometimes though you know like once a month i'll go and dust like our furniture and stuff like that but it's not really like when i do it it's thorough but i feel like it's not really to the level of like when professional cleaners were to come to the house to do the work right so i bit the bullet and i finally told the girl that came to give me a quote months ago to come and clean our house and she did a deep clean and you guys i don't know why i didn't think of doing this sooner i know that the reason why i didn't do it sooner is because of the cost the upfront cost is usually a little bit higher um and then my plan is to just have them come over like once a month just to just kind of like keep up and maintain the house because like i have not seen my cloud house this clean since we moved in here i mean yeah but like you get what i mean like my house is spotless you know they went in into every single room every little thing that you see in my office like my desk um they wiped down everything my baseboards my floors um my blinds were nasty my windows like my shelf back here you can see they pulled out all my books they wiped everything down they wiped everything like the pots like all my decorations my pictures everything they did all of that stuff the bar that we have down here they wiped down like my husband's drinks the cups and glass everything like everything vents everything so i am extremely pleased with the work that they did so i did have them come over on wednesday um because i re like i said i really i felt like i really needed a good clean because it was getting into my mind state basically and i'm the kind of person that like if my house is not clean or orderly like i cannot function so i had them come on wednesday they came at 9 30 in the morning guys and they left at 4 30 and they weren't even able to finish the entire house and there were two of them 
So can you imagine like how much work went into cleaning this house? Um, so they finished up their work yesterday, which was Thursday, and they did um, the kitchen area, the living room, and my office, because those were the three rooms that they didn't get to finish. So I am so glad that I did that. And honestly, that is such a game changer. If you're able to, I know like some of you have commented in the past saying that I should hire cleaners, but I was always in this mindset, like why should I pay for something that I can do myself? But honestly, I have never felt more productive knowing that like my house is already clean. I don't have to worry about that. I'm just like in a generally happy mood. And all I have to do is just kind of like keep up with like the laundry and whatever. So I think that's something that I'm going to keep in my rotation. Um, there are a few things that I don't mind forego, like foregoing in order to make it work. Um, you know, like I don't have to get my nails done every single time, right? Or I have to control like my eating out, whatever. So, so yeah, I do see it going somewhere and me being able to have the luxury of, you know, going to work Monday to Friday taking care of the kids and then on the weekends knowing that like i don't really have to worry about cleaning the house as much because we have people to do that for us it's going to be such a game changer because i just feel more relaxed you know i just feel more relaxed so i'm so happy that my house is so clean and going to the weekend it's also like spotless which is perfect um and then yeah all i have to do is just laundry so that's all of the updates so far um I actually was supposed to have a half day today because my director sent out a note saying like, oh, we can take our afternoon off. So I thought it was like a half day, like a full half day, but we can only start having our afternoon off at two o'clock. And then I have this other meeting that got put on the calendar at three o'clock, which I can't miss. So that's the other thing I, I don't know because I did I did tell them that I wanted to take the, the afternoon off because it is spring break and I wanted to do something with my son but yeah you guys I just have to figure out like what I'm gonna do today so um, anyways back at home right now I'm gonna continue to work I have a few things on my list this morning and yeah hope you guys are having a great morning so far So turn the key and cool her off. This a pause for relief. Free pass, you don't even have to ask to be the cat in the sun. sun See the whole deal through today. I've got better things to do.